Welcome back to Let's Cash More Mash. My name's Tom. And I'm Mike. And today is another episode of Reget or Regret. Ba-da. So, for those of you that don't frequently watch us, Regatta Regret is something we go through a handful of bottles that Mike, Mike kills, drinks all my whiskey over here. <laughs> and then, uh, so whenever we go through a bottle, like sometimes they change over time. Do we think it's worth buying it again or do we regret buying it? That's basically what it comes, that's hence what the name comes out. So we're going to jump right into it because I don't like to make these long. And I'm going to start with a banging bottle that one of you guys had just informed me. Supposedly I can get this at Cappy's now and, and uh, I, I've never been to a Cappy's, but I know where one is because I Googled it and it's not that far. So I'm going to check. This is Cooper's no, Craft right. 100 right. proof. Uh, we got this for $30.90. This this is 99 cents. This is just a banging bottle. Oh, no, it was very good. We I didn't think we could get this up here in Massachusetts, but he was down the Cape, and he said he can get it out of Cappy's down there. So I'm going to have to look to see. You know, mm. the alternative is definitely Old Forester 100. But, I mean, for a $30 bottle, you absolutely can't beat this one. No, it, it's, just, it's definitely mm. worth, worth trying. It, and- it, I would, it's a great I one would, to have on a, on a shelf at all times. It really is. It's it's just the it's bottle's a, neat. It's a yeah. selling product, and then it, it's definitely a reget. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. I always was mad at it because we couldn't reget it. But if we uh, actually have access to it, I would gladly I, I, do it. There's a few cappies around. So, so no, right. So this one's another fun one. We got this. This is Green River Bourbon, uh, the the actual bourbon, not the weeded one. We got it for thirty seven dollars. Even it's got a nice little horseshoe, and you can flick a quarter underneath it. But uh, mm-hmm. uh, honestly, this was a very when. We we first tried it. We were kind of like, meh, it's okay. It's not big. And we put it in like two blinds and it smashed everybody. Like this really did open up once it, it we, did, after we tried it. It maybe was that the day we tried it was a, we were off, I guess. It's I don't know. But it, it ended up doing quite well. It, yeah. yeah. It, it, it went up against and, a couple of different price, things. And for the price again, it's, it's not outrageous. No. It's not a $90 bottle. No. It's, it's. I think it's one of them sneak attack ones. Well, that, that's it's the thing. not well known, but it, it does... It, well, it, it's relatively it's, new. It's, that's and why. everybody's right. talking about it. No, too. right. So, and, and it's coming out. But it's again, the problem with that is there's only one magical store <sighs> that we found Excuse in me. Massachusetts, and we can't get it. Wow. I, like I don't find it everywhere. Like I yeah. don't see it all the time. We have so, a couple stores, so yeah. So this one right here is Rabbit Hole Derringer. So this one. Uh, I don't have a price on it. This one's actually was one of Steve's bottles. He brought it over again to try it again because we put it up against something on one of his I think days. It's on average, is like seventy nine ninety nine. It, it, that's going to be my issue with this. I was going to say I know it's upwards of almost eighty bucks when when we bought it. We we had one of these before. It hasn't and, changed. Uh, it is good. It did get smashed by the old elk, which was like eighty five dollars for the old elk. And the proof is low. It's a low proof. It's tasty on its own. It's very good. But would I buy this one again? No, just because of the proof and the price. I don't think the so, price merits the proof, but and 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 you could tell because we don't have another one. No, we don't right. have any of them anymore. And we, I sought hard to get these. So did and right. It it is very good, but it, it is and even at price. that because I'm ninety percent sure he did the same thing. I think we got it at fifty nine ninety nine. We had to go up to New Hampshire liquor store, one of the I liquor stores up it, there, yeah, to get it, it up there. It, it but, wasn't there, but yeah. I mean, the problem is it's a lower proof and it's good, and we thought it was spectacular. But if you're finding it at seventy nine and you can get the old elk in the same finish, it absolutely tranched it because well, it was that, a higher proof and one. And, and it just was so, so many better. other at that price that you again, can yeah, so, tranched. So I don't know if I didn't regret it's, it. It's not again. It's not a regret. I wouldn't rebuy it. Unless, I guess if I seen it at sixty bucks, I might try it. Yeah, yeah, it, that's just that's about it. Again, that's my eighty thing. bucks. Not so much. This one right here is Jim Beam Double O. We got this for twenty two dollars, and and this to me is buy all day long. Twenty two bucks. It is it is super tasteful. It it if you like Jim Beam Black and you've never tried this, this beat Jim Beam Black in a blind. It it came in well when we did the battle of a bunch of double oaks and two. It did do it, yeah. It's sneakily good, and for $22, it's it's almost a must-buy. It really is. If you've never tried it's, it, it's worthy of a try. It's definitely worthy of a try. It, and it's not always, it's not as easy as the white or the black or whatever. It's not, so that's why I say, so if you see it, don't pass it up. For $22, yes. you got to grab no, it. No, I actually, yeah. I think... I actually, I would grab it before the other two. No, it, 100%. It, it, we, we put it up. For the money, this is like... Someone just requested screaming. it against the black because yeah, yeah, the yeah. black was one of their favorite. And it, it does edge it out. It is just... It's not overly oaky. 
It's just damn good. For what uh, for twenty two dollars, you're not gonna get a it's it's tasty. It is right there. Well. And for those people that aren't huge on the proof, I mean it's a lower proof, but tons of flavor. You know what I mean? Not that I, I, they're not tons of price. No, at twenty two bucks you can't beat that. So speaking of price, this one's Saints Alley uh, eight year herald. Uh we got this for Fifty-two dollars. Actually, I should say Steve got this for fifty-two dollars, and the main reason it's here is because because there was quite a few left. Sorry, Steve, I killed a lot of your bottles, but he he ended up he got into the point where he was buying bottles, you know, with us, you know, and but he was sick of just that generic bourbon taste, and that's what this one brought. It did wasn't bad. Yeah, we did it. We did it. Uh, I don't remember. So. And then he brought it back. He's like, I'm just, he was Can't just. Can't be anything I remember. It would, It didn't stand out. It really didn't. But for $52, it's not one. Like, I would get Evan Williams Bottle and Bond all day long. It has more proof. It has more flavor. This was just okay. But you don't want to pay $52 for an okay whiskey. I'll, I'll give him design on a bottle. But I, yeah, I, yeah, I, no, I'd it's say just, it's a lot of money. And right. I'm, I'm dropping all my bottles over here. So, uh. We'll go to this one next. So this one is three chord Tennessee straight whiskey. We got it for thirty one dollars and ninety nine cents. And again, eighty five proof. It's a nice low proofer. It's not gonna you know for those people that like the low proof. This was really good. Is this the Brenner? Nope. No. Okay. The, this one was really good. It didn't light my world, and I, I have a couple other three chords that are in a sack over there that I, I really want to try too. Because this was. We put it up in a blind. I forget how it actually did. But this was solid. And again, it, it's $31.99. It, it, it's not, do I like Jack better? Yes. Would I get a Jack bonded over this? Yes. But if yeah, you want to get 40. off that banana, if you don't get the banana nut and stuff, this was a solid whiskey for the, you, you know, it wasn't a bad price. Would I rebuy it? No. I would, again, a lot of these, when I say we get a regret, I, I give you, I did like it. I probably wouldn't rebuy. I would buy something else by them. This isn't worthy of a like. Or, it's that or good. you'd buy something in this price range that you haven't done yet. From that's what I'm saying. It's one of them. Not like, even buy them. It, it, you know, there's a right. there's a bunch in thirty two to thirty five. So. Right. So I mean, it was good, but it, I don't. Me personally, I, I wouldn't seek it out again to have to buy that one. Yeah, I don't remember jumping out saying right. wow, wow, wow. So and this one right here is Wathen's Single Barrel. You get a single barrel for twenty four dollars and fifty nine cents. Uh, this one was one of the ones I think was super discounted. For that price, it was a steal. I believe it's usually a lot more than that. Again, this is another one of the ones he brought back half full, and he's like, "I'm sick of these. They're just okay." And for twenty four ninety nine, it is okay. But I right. think it goes more than that. You'd yeah. have to leave a comment down below for twenty four ninety five. If you see it, it's it's not a bad bottle. It, but I wouldn't seek this out to buy it again. You know what I mean? But it, I mean. If you've it's never a, tried it, I'd say look. get it. I, you know what I mean? But it was one of them, you know, it was good. He didn't like it. This was one of the ones he's like, I don't even like the taste of that one. So he just brought it over here and he's like, I'm done with that one. So I, I don't know if I throw it under the bus for that price. No, that, that's what I'm saying. For you know, that price, you can't it, beat it. Yeah, this would be a great, like, let's get this and let's get Old Forrester. Mm -hmm. And then you do your own little side-by-side -side type deal and go there. Old Forrester, smash it. I, because that's just it. Just, that just brings the just, basic but, whiskey but if you're, flavor. If you're yeah. just starting, no, I hear you. You know, then then it's you almost money to money. Well, I'm saying too money, for money. the people that don't want to spend a lot and don't like a lot of proof. That was a great bourbon for well, that, but it's not going to bring you a ton of complexity. It's just no, okay. No, I get it. That's all it was. It was just okay. This one's near and dear to my heart. So this is I, we got this for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So but, but the, you know I I know it's a blended bourbon now, and I know this was one of the ones I used to drink by the, the handlefuls in a lot of them. This is ten high. It's eighty proof. It's a blended bourbon. It's probably more neutral grain spirit than actual whiskey in it now. But out of a lot of the ones that we did, that they they do flavor it or. It has a, a, a good caramel, caramel flavor in there. So if it's one of the, and it used to just be my go-to because I used to be able to get a handle for 14 bucks. And, and it was just one of the things I, you know, I threw it on ice and just guzzled it down. So before I was How trying to you have not seen him on a side of a wall? <laughs> you know, it's amazing. So that's what it is. This one, on the other hand, this is Knob Creek 15. Um, you got it for $99.99. This... This is one of them. Is this very good? Yes. Would I step up to that $100 mark where our knob 12, when we did the Battle of the Knobs, you can go back and watch that video, 12 beat the 15. 
It was close. We thought we were picking the 15, but the 12 actually beat the 15. You can get the knob 12, though, around $50. This one jumps you up to $100. Me, personally, I wouldn't buy anything over a 12. I love the 9. I love the store pick. I, I, I wouldn't say, go over the 12. Me, personally... We bought the 18, so don't get me wrong. We to try it, but it did win. But it, that's 160 dollars. That that's another step above that. One. I don't know if I'd go above a store pick. No, I hear you. I, I hear you. Know, to buy it again. Gets, I, I don't did, know what we paid for this. I did like that knob 12 though. There was something about it that was really. And for 50 bucks, you can't beat that with a stick. But you know, for most of our store picks for, are 60 uh, bucks for a store pick. Hey, so. so there's my yeah. point. No, I 100 so, agree. Don't, I don't totally regret this, but I would go with the store pick. Yeah, I, I but and I wouldn't re get it either. It was good, but it's not a hundred dollars good. That that that's what you can leave it at that. You know what I mean? That we're that was the same page. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree with you hundred percent. This one I'll be interested to see what he says because this one was not killed by me by his change for a change. So this is Ezra Brook uh store pick, uh total wine and more. We got it for fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. This is a cash strength. We've had a couple of them. In fact, someone was on a kick where he was buying them by by, by that handle. He just so stood out. He just yeah. He kept saying, "I didn't know I got one. I didn't know I got one." The, but you basically killed this one. And you, I remember you saying at the end that it got it was hot. It's, by it's the time it's, you got to the end, it's definitely of it. hot. Yeah. So it, it, it is, is 120 proof, but it drinks. It's hot. but it's, e Ezra throws the elbows anyways. Though. It, well, it's it's definitely throwing. Yeah. It's not like a bookish throw. No, it, 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 this it, is this is a hot yeah. kicking. You know you drink it out. Yeah. So, but again, for that price, fifty nine ninety nine, you don't get a lot of cash strengths for that nope. price. It is a solid pour. It does come off hot though. It, it will definitely yeah. come off. Because even the one uh, that, that that you know, I had one here too. It that one, it I, you know, it's I, there. Yeah, so, <laughs> I I'm not gonna say I regret it because I don't. And I would I re get another one? I probably will because it's it's just one of them. Some days you just don't. You just want to chill. You're not gonna have, you know, you have having one, and this is gonna slow you down. No, I, I, I again, I don't mind. Sometimes I want an elbow. A little there. elbow to the face it, doesn't it, hurt it's, every it's, once it's, in a while. It's, it's, you know, you're drinking it. No, right. So, and I do because that has a nice nutty flavor, and it, 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 it brings has a little of the yes, old. It has an old. You're not gonna wolf it. You're not drinking water. You're wolfing that eight plus. No, no, right. So, well, there you go. There's I regret a regret. Again, love when you guys leave comments down below on on different things and uh, what we have to say or not say. You know? No, right? You know, because you don't, you know, you're not always going to agree with us. So, nope. there it is. That being said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Spend less, drink more. Cheers. Cheers. Subscribe.